This video will cover the installation of Philwright's 700 Series Full Rebuild Kit. Before continuing with this replacement kit, turn off and disconnect all power from the pump. First, you can disassemble the rotor and shaft seal. Start by removing the rotor cover, then remove the gasket, followed by the rotor key, rotor, and vanes. Then you can remove the shaft seal assembly from further within the cavity. First, use snap ring pliers to remove the snap ring. Then use small sized needle nose pliers or hooks to get the other pieces out. The shaft seal contains eight pieces. It may be necessary to push pressurized air into the weep hole to get the deepest pieces out. Now you can install the new shaft seal kit. First, remove the yellow cap off the end of the tube. Then place the tube over the motor shaft. Using the cardboard collar on the tube, Push all the seals and other components onto the motor shaft. Install the snap ring last. Use snap ring pliers to place it on the motor shaft and push it back until it sits in the indentation. Once the new shaft seal pieces have been installed, then you can install the rotor, rotor key, vanes, and gasket. First, slide the rotor onto the motor shaft. Make sure the rotor is aligned with the motor shaft and insert the rotor key. Next, install the vanes. Ensure they are all facing the same direction. Then, place the gasket in the indentation on the rotor cover and ensure it is properly seated. Anytime the rotor is replaced, the rotor cover should be as well to ensure they are the same hardness. Then you can install the rotor cover. Next, you can replace the bypass valve. The bypass valve is located on the side of the pump housing. To access it, remove the bypass cap using a wrench or socket. When removing the cap, note that the O-ring and the spring come out with the cap. Next, using needle nose pliers, reach into the opening and remove the bypass poppet assembly. Now you can install the new bypass valve. Start by placing the O-ring on the bypass cap, then insert the spring into the cap. Next you can install the bypass poppet. Note the orientation of the poppet. It is critical that it be inserted the correct way for the bypass valve to operate correctly. The end with the tip is inserted first. Then you can insert the cap with the spring and O-ring into the bypass opening. Turn until it is hand tight. Then use a wrench to secure. Thank you for watching this Fill Right Kit installation video.